da 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 we are going to find out shortly. So you can see that we're now extending it so the bubbles for the heroes extend to right there. So it's perfect. So it matches up nicely. So our bubbles are looking good on this side. Now let's see if we can do the same thing to the other side. It's gonna gotta do it on both sides. But so far I'm I'm liking the changes that we've made. They are making sense at least. So let's get that to be like that. Um, down there. Uh, up there. And then I think we just need one more to stab you through and go down. And yes, cat, there's birds out there. There's three. One, two, three. Then we made it a little bit thicker on the inside, just for a little bit, just for uh, a one notch there, just a one notch. Did we have to suck it in at all? It's a gap of one there, gap of one. Okay, okay, I see that. All right. Uh, that definitely, I think we just basically have to move that down and move that up. So that looks similar to that. Looks similar, looks similar. Right, right. Okay, we're gonna have to test because they might break through here. We have to, might have to put one more here or two more here. I don't, I think it should be fine. Hmm, we'll find out though. Okay, so now the innards of this, I think I moved in something here. Yeah, that. Okay, that looks about right. And let's check the bubbles. Bubble looks good. Bubble looks good. I think I put something there. Put something there and I put something there to keep them uh, nicely spaced. Okay. Looking interesting, looking interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That gives us plenty of time to, to hack them. It does some interesting things. I am wondering what this is going to do in the long run. There's something different between these two. I'm missing something here. They don't look the same. this because this one is supposed to have another piece going up to there yeah okay uh, where did we get that piece from though but do we need that piece this, there's basically two pieces of here so we got that piece it looks like from right here is where we stole it from but should we steal it from there are they going to break through right here is the question. This is the, the question, the little piece that's in question. Are they going to break through this or are they going to actually go all the way through? That is our question that I don't know the answer to yet. Yet. But I will soon. Hmm. Ah. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a trial run. Another P and see what happens. This is definitely giving access to all our heroes to attack. Plenty of time on the boss. So that's the thing that we didn't have earlier that we now do have. So 
so that is interesting how we have our bombs placement let's check out uh where we place the bombs now i think we would care more about any of the things that make it this deep into the base so i think it's all about guarding that corner bit there so like one two three four five now that's if they make it that far i don't know if they're actually going to go that deep in we might have uh sprung a trap for ourselves now we might be able to like i had that piece that was trimmed over here we might be able to have that uh not needed to be there possibly potentially i think we could get away with using that piece for something else like putting that there putting that right there i think that would if we could, we would, all right? Give it a try. Hopefully they don't break through. Uh, there's a bit of four there, so I think, I think it's there, all right? Because it's one chunk further. It's right on the line. I think that's it. That might be, it might not be. If that's not it, whoops, they're going to break through. We'll find out. Well, maybe we shouldn't risk it. Risk one thing at a time. We're going to first uh, see what this does if they break through here. Then we'll see if they break through there. I take that piece and put it over here. Interesting, interesting. How does it look? What do you guys think? This is looking strange. Strange, I tell you. I don't know what to make of it just yet have thoughts, but I think it could work. I think it could work. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a whirl. Probably do some gold. Sure, we'll donate that. You guys hire some stuff. Sure, I need to complete my quests. God, I'm not going to be able to complete any of my quests before I make it to work. So today, I'm being a horrible person at this game. Uh, I, was, I went to try and go buy a, a phone, uh, but they didn't want to sell me the phone without buying a contract. And they said after, after the phone's been out for a longer period of time, they would sell it directly, but right now they're not going to sell it directly to me. I can only buy it directly from them online. So I can buy it from online, but I can't buy it on sto in stores. That sucks. Basically, I have Ting, and with Ting, I'm allowed, I get to save some money. And I like saving money, so that's why I went with Ting. Uh, not a sponsor of this in any way, shape, or form. If they want to give me money, I won't say no. <laughs> but that's uh, what I was trying to get my phone for. All right, I think that will work now. So this is like taking icebreaker and flipping it and cutting in half and then flipping it. <laughs> so that's sort of what this is. This is taking icebreaker, cutting it in half and flipping it. So it, it's then turning it back into like a box, but a weird box with lots of pain and torture for them. I'm okay with that. I like torturing them. It's fine. I'm pretty sure we could actually trim this sucker too. I'm almost definitely certain we could trim that, but I'm just not gonna do that. Uh, I'm not gonna do that yet. That's the correct terminology. We might have to use something and reinforce over here because this is a pretty long too thick. It might have to be one or two more, three lengths to make them not break through there. I don't think they're gonna break through. Let's give it a try, we're gonna find out. I only got so much time, we can't futz around. Play! <laughs> I'm trying to calculate things in my brain. The best way to calculate it is just do it. <laughs> It'll, the game will tell you if it, if it breaks or not. We only got so many attempts anyway, so let's uh, kill it, get it over with. It looks like they're going to go after Pumpkin Duke. Pumpkin Duke was dumb enough to hop the wall. So this guy, because Pumpkin Duke hopped the wall there, he will be attacking that. But he's a very weak hitter so far. He might actually get it, though. Hopefully we can get some kind of a ranged attack on that dude before he breaks the wall. 
And that's because Pumpkin Duke hopped out the wall. So I don't know if that's a legit break or not, but it is something. We can reinforce it with one. Why not? So we got to look at this side. I think it's safe in case Pumpkin Duke ever does hop the wall. Uh, he hopped the wall only because of the Omnicopters. I think we can get him and stop him from doing that again. And that would benefit us. So, hey, they got my guy stunned. New. No. Kill them. Murder them. Murder them. I gotta get rid of Pumpkin Duke, though. I'm gonna probably put Siren in his place because when we're trying to contain our heroes, the one hero that's gonna hop out is gonna be Pumpkin Duke. Pumpkin Duke likes to hop the wall. It's just a Pumpkin Duke thing to do. So now let's take a look at these guys and where they path because that's gonna be more important. We're trying to figure out the pathing. And maybe there's a way we can get it so um, maybe if we push all this out one here, Pumpkin Duke won't pop that way. And maybe we only have to do it on the side that Pumpkin Duke is on. He's the only melee that we have that's not ranged. So he's the threat to pulling aggro in an inappropriate way. So far, the top does look good. This breakthrough was caused from Pumpkin Duke. And maybe we should take that in a factor and make it a little thicker there, and that would reduce the risk of them breaking a wall because of Pumpkin Duke. Our buildings are surviving quite nicely, so that's not an issue. It's really just... Uh, that bad luck that we got there. Boom! Hit that boss. Hit him. Hit him hard. Everyone, go get him. Except Cupid. Cupid doesn't want to play. I don't know if we have any bombs left in mid anymore. Because we're going to probably need them at this point. Yeah, the boss decided to break through instead of going around for Cupid. So that last little bit there, we got to probably remove that a little bit but that gives us additional stuff so this little bit I wanted to play with it we can use that for reinforcing and shoring up that so that's fine okay all right let's try it again should be good get your cat out of my way so it looks like the inside we're protecting quite well so now we just gotta worry about this outside bit here. Oh, I got a cat that's just a really crazy cat. God, does it, cats love attention. I mean, cats are needy animals. <laughs> they love attention 24 seven, man. I can tell you, you're a kitty. How do I know? You're on my head purring. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this out the way. I got to test this a little bit more. A little functionality test. Now, I'm trying to think of a way to stop Pumpkin Duke from hopping. And I think I might have come up with a solution that I'll test again later. Got to keep that Pumpkin Duke contained. Got to contain the Pumpkin Duke. Or if you have a siren, you don't care. Because then siren won't hop the wall. Uh, might be best not to have a Pumpkin Duke. But I think we can make it work with Pumpkin Duke. And I'm going to do it. Alright, we got a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Let's uh, get that. Uh, well, actually, I got a hand in these things first. And then do the battle. So now let's see if they break anything. I think we shored it up. I think it's going to be stronger now. We've tested it. It should be good. What do you guys think of the design? It's still sort of yin yangish. Still sort of yin yang. The yaya -ya sisterhood. <laughs> and I was like, oh, why did you hop the wall there, Mr. Mr. 
Druids. Everyone else seems to be fine. They go through the zigzag, so that's good. Druid, get your butt out, dude. Dude. Hop the ball. Hey, he's fine. It's Druid. Druid is hard to control, but I think it's going to be fine. Especially now that they're cleared out. Now, good, good, good. All the buildings are going to be cleared out. So the biggest problem is building control. And that's going to be addressed now. So that's good. And now we get to see how the path thing works. That's what we're here to test is the path thing. To see if this is going to be a legitimate path thing option. Okay, let's see if they break the wall. Nope, they go through. Everything's good there. Everything's good here. Break it up nicely on that side. Okay, I'm liking this a little bit better. I'm a little bit happier. Gotta go a long distance to get to what they want, so that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so so far so good. So far so good. The boss mechanics. Now that is good to test. How is the boss gonna path? Where is that sucker gonna go? The boss has different mechanics than everyone else, and that's why we wonder and are curious about the boss because that's the one thing that's definitely dangerous to us. You know, with it being in the mid, it looks like it has a bit more time to. Go through the zigzag. We gotta get some more slow on the heroes. I don't have much in terms of slow on these heroes, but we still killed them, so that's that's fine. How are we looking on those bombs? We did use up pretty much all our bombs on that last round because we got attacked from both sides. Now, with this particular setup, it, it's actually beneficial if they all come in through the same entrance. If they all spawn on the same, if they spawn on the same side, on the same half of the map. It really works to your advantage, I think. That's my what I believe is going to happen if they spawn on the same side of the map. That you'll be happier. So let's give it another whirl, another whirl, another test, another try, another stab at this. Looks like it's a bit more solid now. That it's not going to bends and breaks to the wheels of the monsters. So we might have a new setup for the center of our map with this. I'm gonna be testing it on Q and see if it can farm Q. We might have to do something uh, different with the corner designs. We might break it up into two bits or I might keep it with four bits. The four bits protects you against uh, no man's land, which you know, everyone hates no man's land. No man's land isn't fun either. But when you break it up into four bits, uh, no man's land tends not to happen. So that's why we got it into four chunks. Whenever you ever have a corner base and you have it, a corner base is run the risk of no man's land because the way they're set up. Come on, kill that last base before our heroes get aggro. Nope. They're aggroed to Reaper. They're aggro to Reaper, not a building, which does help us a little bit. Looking good so far, looking good so far. Okay, okay. The pathing path seems to work. We might be able to extend the walls out just a smidge by trimming certain walls in certain areas and then pushing it out one. If we push it out one, it could give us some additional uh, benefits. And those benefits we could use to our advantage. I've got ideas if we do that. Now they're just gonna be aggroed on our heroes. So they're gonna be aggroed to 
druid, and they're going to be aggroed to Reaper or something. But yeah, it gives it a perfect time for Druid to just stand really far back. They have to come in pretty far to get to Druid, and all the rest of them have to come in pretty far to get to uh, the other hero that they're trying to get to. So it actually works to our advantage when they target heroes because they have to go through all the zigzags and take forever to get there. And Druid just gets to stand there and shoot them while they have to come a long distance to get to them. So that's sort of the idea that we, man, why are their buildings still up? <laughs> that actually is not helping us having buildings on the last run. But if we can get a Cupid proc with some other stuff here, we'll be golden. Oh, Cupid proc. We need Vlad Dracula to proc now or we are dead in the waters. There we go. There we go. Clean that sucker up. There we go. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Murder him. All goods. All goods. So this could be a potential one for farming Q. Maybe R, but you have to have really good burst damage. And a Dragon's Breath in these particular paths would still work really well. I'm gonna have to test this out on my main to know for sure, but this could be a potential then to get rid of No Man's Land. But this is something I've been thinking about for a bit, where I wanted that, uh, I wanted this little corner. I wanted to cut the corner so I had that path. This is all about uh, the path there, that cutting the corner gives you extra time to attack them. And you, you really need that. If they spawn over here, had come this way through this path, you get additional time that you don't get on a normal box. On a normal box, you wouldn't get all that additional time attacking them. On this particular setup, you get that additional time. So that's why, why we're doing that. And this bumper stops your heroes from hopping out this way. It doesn't guarantee it, but it, it reduces the risk. And the, the way we have it set up also reduces the risk of our heroes hopping out the front, uh, hopping over here. Um, these are reduced as well because of that point there. Now we might want to push this out just a little bit um, to deal with what we saw earlier, where we saw Pumpkin Duke hopping out. But look at his circle. He should not have hopped out. Dude, circle is not there. Pumpkin Duke. Your circle is not there. How the heck did you wind up out there, dude? I made changes over here for you, but I don't think that you should have hopped out. Evil druid. Or not druid, a pumpkin dude, sorry. Yeah. But I think it works. Let's test it one more time, and then I got to bounce. Got to go to work. But I think it works. I think we're going to need to test this on my main. Ah, uh, we're gonna not do as, we're not gonna do the little bombs anymore. Let's test it without the little bombs. <laughs> I was cleaning today, so I got a lot of dust in my nose. Whew. Okay, so, actually I didn't do any of my lost realm. I haven't done anything, man. I'm far behind today, far behind. Look, Lost Realm is maxed out. I'm just going to collect the blue stuff and run. God. Got to bounce. Got to bounce. So let's uh, do another heal by monsters. P. I think this base has potential to be really good, especially when you have just your heroes left. When you have just your heroes left, your heroes then have plenty of movement to run around and just beat the snot out of them. So that's what we were talking about there, that hopping the wall. Pumpkin Duke, you... And it's only going to happen with Omnicopters. Omni Chapters of Death. So they're going to target Pumpkin Duke if Pumpkin Duke doesn't hurry his tush up. Hurry your tush up, Mr. Pumpkin Duke. Thank you. They're probably still targeting you, but you can kill them off. Especially since you're going to blow your load on them for no reason. <laughs> uh, but he's revited back up again. We're fine. We're fine. What else we got? These guys, this group here is going to find their demise shortly. Some of them might shoot over the wall. They might park their butt here and shoot over the wall if they're ranged. Otherwise, they might just go through the zigzag and pop in. Or are they targeting this? I would assume they're targeting this. Oh, they're targeting that, so they have to go through. Okay. 
And over here we have a Vlad Drek. Hey, why are you guys going over there? Oh, that's right. They're going over there because this building dropped and they're right here. So then they target over here. We like them kill. Hey, don't thunder strike me, dude. <laughs> dude, thunder strike me. Thunder God, lightning strike. What you doing, man? What you doing? There we go. Fix that up right away. Don't you be thunder striking me. Grr. Thunder and lightning, dude. Okay, so they're going to target this, and some can shoot over the wall. Or, or none. Nope, they're targeting this one. Or this one. I, no, they're targeting this one. Boom! Vlad Dracula. Basically, what Vlad's Dracula's spin pretty much covers almost both entrances here, which is sort of like the idea that he can just bounce back and forth and just destroy them back and forth. So he'll proc here, hit a whole bunch, maybe kill them, and then swing back over here and just clear up the rest. And that's sort of the idea. And have Santa's explosions happen and clear out the same kind of area. So that's sort of the idea. I, did, I tried rolling for Santa on this account, but dude, I couldn't get it. I tried convincing the wife to roll on it, but she she was scared again, so... Oh, we're gonna lose a, a hero here. Still alive, dude. I give it to you. You don't want to die. They killed the Reaper, but this guy's dead now. If we had Santa there, there wouldn't be no none of this hovering over the wall crud that they do. Rawr. So it, it works. Um, that's good. I'm glad that it works. Uh, moving that piece over there, that over there, did the trick. Yay! It did the trick. So, what do you guys think of this one? Has anyone ever done a base like this before? I don't know. They have? Cool. If they haven't, we got a new base. Let's call it Yin Yang. Got some Yang to ya Yang. So it looks sort of cool. I like it. It's uh, interesting. It's an interessante design. I think it, uh, works. So, have a good ones, guys. Have a good ones. Ooh, gots to go to works. Make this money thing. <laughs> have a good ones, guys. Have a good ones.